For decades, many Royal Navy ships, including the Type 23 frigates and Type 45 destroyers, have relied on the 4.5-inch Mark 8 naval gun paired with the Phalanx close-in weapon system. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern naval warfare, the UK's Royal Navy is ushering in a new era with the Type 31 frigate, also known as the Inspiration class. Central to their offensive and defensive prowess is the Bofors gun combination, a single 57mm Mark III naval gun mounted forward and two 40mm Mark IV guns positioned amidships. This setup, provided by BAE Systems Bofors, marks a shift from traditional armaments, offering enhanced capabilities against diverse threats. The 57mm Mark III, internationally recognized as the Mark I-10 in some navies, is a medium-caliber automatic gun system engineered for multi-role engagements. It boasts a high rate of fire, capable of unleashing up to 220 rounds per minute, with a maximum range extending to 17 kilometers and an effective range of around 12 kilometers against surface targets. Against aerial threats, it can engage up to altitudes of about 7.6 kilometers. Its magazine holds 120 rounds, allowing sustained fire without immediate reloading, and its low observable turret design minimizes radar signature, making it suitable for stealth-oriented vessels. Complementing the 57mm is the pair of 40mm Mark IV guns, which serve as close-in weapon systems. These compact, lightweight guns deliver 300 rounds per minute, with a maximum range of 12.5 km and effectiveness out to 10 km. Both Bofors systems utilize advanced programmable ammunition, such as the 3P all-target rounds, which can be configured in-flight for different fuse modes, proximity, impact, timed, or armored piercing to optimize against specific threats like aircraft, missiles, ships, or shore installations. What makes the Bofors gun combination so dangerous and capable starts with its design philosophy, precision, range, and multi-role functionality. The 57mm Mark III gun, mounted forward on the frigate, is a medium-caliber weapon capable of firing up to 220 rounds per minute, with an effective range extending to around 17 kilometers. This allows it to engage targets well beyond the horizon line for many close-range threats. Its real edge comes from advanced ammunition options, particularly the programmable 3P rounds. These smart shells can be programmed mid-flight to detonate in specific modes, such as airburst for shredding drone swarms or impact for piercing armored boats, making it exceptionally effective against asymmetric threats like unmanned aerial vehicles, suicide craft, or low-flying missiles. In littoral operations, where warships operate close to shore and face swarm tactics from small, agile adversaries, this capability turns the 57mm into a force multiplier, capable of neutralizing multiple targets with fewer shots. Complementing the 57mm are the 240mm Mark IV guns, positioned amidships for all-around coverage. These smaller but no less potent weapons fire at rates up to 300 rounds per minute, with a range of about 12 kilometers, roughly double that of the 30mm guns on older Royal Navy vessels like the Type 23 frigates. They also utilize programmable ammunition, enhancing accuracy and destructive power against surface and aerial targets. Together, the combination creates a defense in depth. The 57mm handles longer range or heavier threats, while the 40mm guns provide rapid, close-quarters suppression. This setup is particularly dangerous because it allows the Type 31 to sustain prolonged firefights without depleting missile stocks, which are reserved for high-value threats. In scenarios involving anti-access and area denial environments, such as those posed by adversaries in the South China Sea or the Persian Gulf, the gun's ability to counter fast inshore attack craft or loitering munitions makes the frigate a nightmare for opponents relying on quantity over quality. The Mark 8, a 114mm gun, offers a range of up to 27.5 kilometers with extended rounds and a rate of fire around 25 rounds per minute, primarily suited for naval gunfire support and anti-surface roles. 
It fires heavier shells effective against land targets but struggles with rapid high-volume fire needed for modern aerial threats and suffers from a much slower rate of fire making it cumbersome against agile, multiple threats like swarms. The Phalanx, a 20mm Gatling gun system, serves as the last-ditch defense, firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute of tungsten penetrators to shred incoming missiles or aircraft at close range, typically within 2 to 3 kilometers. While effective against single threats, it has limitations in sustained engagements due to high ammunition consumption and shorter effective range. In contrast, the Bofors combination outperforms this legacy setup in several key areas. The 57mm Mark III's blistering 220 rounds per minute far exceeds the Mark VIII's output, enabling quicker suppression of threats like drone swarms or fast attack craft, where volume of fire is critical over shell size. Its programmable ammo provides superior anti-air capabilities compared to the Mark VIII, which is now largely relegated to benign environments for gunfire support. The 40mm Mark IV guns eclipse the Phalanx in range and versatility. With engagement distances up to 12 kilometers versus the Phalanx's close-in focus, roughly four times the effective range of the Phalanx's 20 millimeters, which is limited to under three kilometers for reliable intercepts, the Bofors allows threats to be neutralized earlier, reducing risk to the ship. In contrast, the Phalanx is designed as a last resort system, firing a high volume barrage only when dangers are perilously close, which leaves little margin for error in high-speed scenarios like supersonic missile attacks. From a practical standpoint, the Bofors systems are lighter, more compact, and cost-effective, aligning with the Type 31's emphasis on affordability and maintainability. The 40mm Mark IV weighs just 2.5 tons, including ammunition, over 40% lighter than previous models, reducing deck penetration and allowing for easier integration on a smaller hull. The Phalanx, at around 6 tons and the heavier 4.5-inch Mark VIII, over 20 tons, impose greater weight and space demands, which can limit a ship's flexibility for other systems like missiles or unmanned vehicles. Moreover, the Bofors modular design facilitates future upgrades, such as advanced fuzzing or integration with directed energy weapons, ensuring longevity in an era of rapid technological change, something the aging Mark VIII and Phalanx lack without significant retrofits. Overall, the Bofors combination delivers a more agile, far-reaching, and threat-agnostic defense, better suited to today's complex maritime battle space than the aging Mark VIII Phalanx duo. This upgrade not only boosts the Type 31's survivability, but also ensures the Royal Navy remains a potent force on the global stage.